Fat Controller's Funeral. It was a busy day on the island of Sodor, and the engines were at the sheds, waiting to hear from Sir Topham Hatt. Bubbling boilers! We're waiting to hear from Sir Topham Hatt! <laughs> Sir Topham Hatt arrives in his car, steps out of it, walks towards the engines. Yeah, hello everyone! Lovely day! Today we're going to- <laughs> The Fat Controller slips on something and bashes his skull. He is now dead. Sir? Sir? We cut to the funeral. Sad music for Funeral Homes number 11 is playing. Everyone is at the funeral, going to Sir Topham's casket. Cranky says, Oh, this time, I was far too late. Farmer McCall walks up. God, I wish that were me. Yeah, me too. Farmer McCall <laughs> looks around the room. He catches an unexpected eye contact with Edward. They both look surprised. Edward says, Dad? We cut to James, overlooking the casket. If only he'd been more careful. I knew this life would catch up to him. He was in too deep. What are you talking about? You know, the mob. James, we literally watched him die. I'm pretty sure it was just an accident. It's always a cover-up. When will the victims get the justice they deserve? He tripped. I'm not buying this story. Not this time. James, you were there. Oh, yeah. James looks down at the casket again. <laughs> what a loser! <laughs> the engines have now gathered in the pews. The service is beginning. Mr. Bubbles goes up to the front. He is very upset, but through the sniffles he speaks. Thank you everyone for being here. I just... <laughs> Excuse me! He proceeds to pull out a never-ending handkerchief as he blows his horn nose. <laughs> Edward goes up to the front. Without any foreword, he begins a rendition of Amazing Grace. It is bad. Amazing oh, Grace! <laughs> I told him not to do it. He just... he can't sing. Who died again? Asked Nia. Henry said. Who invited her? I wish it was you! Africa is a continent! Y yeah? Go back there! I don't really have a home to go back to. <laughs> oh, Nia, I'm so sorry. But now isn't the time for that. <laughs> Everyone is in silence, mourning the loss of their good friend. <laughs> Charlie bursts through the door. Hey! Wanna hear a funny joke? Everyone turns around furious. Silence. Jeez, did somebody die? <laughs> Meanwhile, downstairs, La Lady Hat is downing drinks. She speaks to Boulder. You know, I spent a lot of years married to that man. Well, we were in love, no doubt, but, you know, until you have a couple of kids, am I right? Yeah, you get it. I I just don't know how I'm going to move on. I mean, who am I? What, what am I going to do? I'm certainly not going to stick around with those trains. <laughs> God, I hate them all. She takes a large drink. <clears throat> Especially that red one. Still... I can't blame them for me and Tom. She's just a drink. But you know what? I don't regret it, any of it, and I won't blame myself for it. I certainly don't blame him. <laughs> she chuckles to herself. A Actions speak louder than words, Boulder. Thank you so much. Thomas, would you like to say a few words? Well, I'm legally obligated to. <laughs> Thomas goes up to the podium. What can I say about the Fat Controller? He made me happy. He made me bold. When I was with him, I rocked and I rolled. He never dillied. He never dallied. And as a personal witness, he never hit those kids. You know, we all know him as these different roles. He was a boss to many, an enemy to few. He was a friend. He was a father. I can't say if he did any of those jobs very well, but I know he tried sometimes. But most importantly, he was a caring, supportive person who always had everyone else's best interest in mind. I think we all learned a lot from him. He taught us a lot. But I think the most important things we learned, he never knew he taught us. When to be kind, and when to say enough is enough. He taught us love. 
he taught us it's okay to make mistakes. He... He locked me in a tunnel! And then Boko says, Loves us all? <laughs> yeah, right. Remember the smudge I cover up? Scarloe to his friends, We really, really need to stop really telling those engines about our drama. <laughs> Scarloe said with two voices. <laughs> <laughs> his inside and outside voice. Yes. <laughs> and not to spill the tea, but he made me crash into those tar wagons. The engines begin arguing. Wait, wait, everyone. Stepney almost got killed by the diesels. Scroffy's incident was Oliver and I's idea. Most of us wouldn't even be here if he didn't save us from scrap. Like, all these horrible things about the railway we kind of put upon each other. But the Daily Mail says we live in a dystopian authoritarian dictatorship. That's called marriage. Big yikes. You okay? I don't know, Percy, am I? I feel like we all kind of pushed the blame on him all the time, and he just kind of took it. He was strong enough to do what we couldn't do, and accept blame. Everyone murmurs in unison. Silence. So, uh, now what? Suddenly, the phone rings from inside the casket. Everyone stares as it rings. The voicemail tone plays. New message. One new message from the Earl of Sodor. Surprise! Hello, Topham! Heard everyone was getting together for something. Is it your birthday today? I'm sorry I couldn't make it, but you deserve the best, and I hope you have an amazing day. Can't wait to get together soon. Bye! Moment oh. of silence. A collective. Oh. oh so, who's gonna tell him? He'll find out. Hey, what's up guys? It's Duck here, aka Troublesome Junction, and I want to give a thank you to the boys over at the Busted Buffers channel for letting me make this video. Uh, the day with the trains livestream event had a whole lot of unused uh, scripts read aloud, and this one was so much fun to film. Originally I was going to animate it, but it didn't go exactly to plan, so I ended up just doing it like this. And I'm really happy with how the video turned out, and I hope all of you guys like it too. So, big thank you to their channel, link in the description to them, and I'll see you guys on the flip side.